In this segment, we'll talk about what an upper triangular matrix is. A matrix of size n by n, so if it's of the order of n by n, which means there's a square matrix, if you find out that for which aij is equal to 0 for all elements in which i is greater than j, uh, then it is an upper triangular matrix. So the first thing to realize is that the matrix has to be a, is, has to be a square matrix. And the second thing is that uh, the following elements have to be zero. Wherever you find out that the row number is strictly bigger than the column number, the value of the element in the matrix has to be zero. Uh, this will be clear once you look at, uh, look at an example. So let's see. We have A is equal to 2, 3, minus 6, 5, 3, minus 7, 0, 0, 0. So what you are finding out is that, uh, let's suppose this is an upper triangular matrix, it's a square matrix, and you're finding out here are the zeros in the upper triangular matrix. If you look at this element, this is second row, first column. This is third row, first column. This is third row, second column. And you'll see something common in these zero elements is that the row number is always bigger than the column number. And that's what we mean by i being greater than or equal to j. So it is only where the zeros are which dictate whether a particular matrix is upper triangular. Many times students think that uh, it depends on which elements are non-zero. Any of these elements which are on the diagonal of the matrix or which are above the diagonal, they can be zero or non-zero. But a particular matrix is considered to be upper triangular based on the fact that any element for which the row number is bigger than the column number has to be zero. Uh, let's take another example here. B is equal to um, same, I'll put the same matrix except for one small difference. I'll say 0, 5, 3 and I'll say 0, 0, 0 for example. So the only difference which I change I've made is this element right here. I made this a 0 and many times people, uh, students will think that if an element is 0 outside on the diagonal or above the diagonal then it's not upper triangular. But the upper triangular uh, nature of the matrix is defined not by what is non-zero but, but what is zero, which is below the diagonal. So since this element, this element, and this element are zero, this is an upper triangular matrix, irrespective of this element being here zero. And that's the end of this segment.